Hey, what's up, guys? Jacob here, back with another video. This video, I'm going to be going over my thoughts on Birdie's new patch notes, and just going over what I found from you know his new like tactics that he has or whatever new moves that he's that he can do. Well, not new moves, but like you know new new things that you know you can do in the new season. So overall, I think that it's okay. Like after seeing you know what he got, so I'm gonna go over. Well, the, I'm gonna go over like the simple things that don't really like matter or whatever. Like the him having more. So this, when he crush counters off a heavy kick, he gets less uh, V gauge off of it. This kind of sucks, but yeah, gets more off a crush counter sweep though, which is a lot more of a riskier move. Most people who play a lot of birds know how to punish that really well with their characters. So yeah, still a risky move to try to get a crush counter off of. All right, so. The other stuff is that his bull slider now has more active frames on it. So he's able to get like good distance from it. Like he can hit it like in like almost yeah. Like from a really good distance to get you and make it uh min like safe now. You can make it safe now, minus three. But it's very hard to to do it. Like I mean it's not like that hard, but if you're at this distance, you know it's kind of how to say it's kind of um it's kind of pointless trying to get it on the last frame and it's very ambiguous like I saw like I was doing this a bunch of times and like you have to get it on the last frame to make it minus three which is still it's kind of annoying because players that are moving constantly people who have very good spacing they're constantly moving in and out and getting into the right space so that you don't get certain things so have me having to hit it on the last frame just to make it safe it's gonna make it harder for me to be able to use it because my opponent can literally just walk back a little bit seeing that I'm you know like that the bullhorn is coming or move back a little bit and if I try to get the last frame I get whiff punish for it which is a, a lot more damage that I'm taking than if I just did it right in front of him and made it minus six and he punished me with a light punish so it's kinda like you know kinda pointless the only real good thing I found from it it's still good like if you can space it out at the perfect frame you know the opponent is very like you know being very still whatever and you can get it a lot consistently it's pretty good it puts you at a good distance you know to like you know press out the buttons or if they whiffing buttons you just keep poking them basically I just wish that it, it wasn't so inconsistent like you if it's like the second to last frame is minus four and then before that it just gets minus five and it just keeps going like make it more so that like if you're able to space it out on like the last like three frames, it should be minus three. You know what I mean? Like, if you can get on the last like three frames or the last two frames even, make it minus three. Don't just keep adding up, you know, to make it even more, you know, minus to when it becomes punishable. Because minus four is still punishable. Like it's it's barely punishable. Like it's, most characters can't really punish it. Like you can do super to punish, you know, minus four or stuff like that. But like if no matter where it's space, but still. And then it's kind of ambiguous. You won't really know if it's minus three sometimes. The opponent won't really know because hitting it from like that last, like you, your, you know, mind is triggered to seeing that last hit, hit or whatever. So when you see it like hit on that last, those last three frames, you automatically could be thinking that's minus three, but it it could not be. That's what makes it ambiguous. That's why it's not consistent. If it was all minus three, then okay, oh, I hit in the last frame. I could see that I hit it on like you know that last, you know, you could see it. Like after the slide and you see the hit there but oh it's minus three I'm safe but no it's since it's ambiguous that it's cha it's from three different uh you know it goes from minus three to minus five in those last three frames it makes it harder for you to see that you know if you're safe you know to not get punished or to throw out a certain move from distance like that and it can make it big for the other opponent so it just makes it like kind of like ambiguous so it's kind of like it comes like random you know what I mean it becomes like random at that point yeah, for the most part you're safe, but you know, it's still not consistent. I'd rather have a consistent You know knowledge of that. It's gonna be minus three or something. You know what I mean? So yeah But yeah, the main uh, the main use for it that I found is for after command grab he gets like a free minus three uh, full slide Before in the last season you had to time it. I remember making a video. Wait, let me take off I made a video before you know talking about where you had to time it I have him blocking. 
where you had to time it to hit it on the last frame. Now you can literally go after it, like, but you have to do it like right away. And you're able to make it minus three. And you're a lot closer too than if you hit it from like a, a distance and space it out at minus three. So you're actually a, a, a good distance, away. not in enough distance to get command grabbed or get like uh, enough, you'll be able to see if someone trying to walk up a little bit and throw you. So you can react a little bit. So you're in like a good distance to where you can react and you know, see what's going on and you're only minus three. So you're, you're in a good distance where you want to be as birdie. So that's the only good use I've like consistent use for. It. Goes back to consistency, you know. Cause Burry's always been an inconsistent character, that's the thing. Like well, not always, but like he last scene was kinda inconsistent, you know, things were like up and down, you know, you had to basically like have everything go your way. Not everything, but most things just go your way and guess right, you know. It wasn't that consistent. It's, it was a little wonky. But yeah, I'm glad that's consistent. You know that. So now you have a consistent option after command grab instead of just like completely diso disregarding that bull slide. Cause no one used it last season. No one was using it after command grab. People were either risk dashing up and being minus. Wait, hold on. He's still oh zero. Okay, I believe. Yeah, he's zero. So being zero, which is your your four frame character, so you're either gonna trade with a four frame, or you're gonna get beat out by a three frame character. So it kind of made it useless. Where you either had to take a risk and go for a sweep, and depending on the character, they were able to punish you, or do you um what do you call it? Or you go for like a forward, like walk up a little bit, go for heavy kick and stuff like that. I've shown all that stuff, but yeah. So. That's the cool thing about the bull slide. They made that a, a media option after command grab, like right away. The other buff that I kind of, I like, but I don't like. I did like it at first that you're able to link a uh, medium chain after a uh, medium punch. I don't believe it's light uh, chain you can. No, not light chain. If it was light chain, then it'll be a different story. If it was light chain, then it'll be a little bit different. It'll be more of like, I'll be like, oh crap, this character is actually like, you know. I might actually get, you know, a little bit too rewarded in the neutral. <laughs> know what I mean? I'll be a little bit too rewarded in the neutral for hitting someone with a pretty good move. This makes a little more sense, you know, being able to just, you know, get that distance or whatever. The only thing I don't like about it is that, first of all, you have to commit to it anyways. Like, you have to see, you know, it's more like a punish and then, you know, you get it. You have to be at a good distance. I don't believe if you get it from the, like the, the max distance, it links. Yeah. So that's another thing. If, if you hit someone like from a max distance punish or medium punch, this is going to miss. So you have to hit him like almost like in a combo or whatever. For it to link. And another problem with this, just like the problem with the, like not needing medium punch to link after this is... I mean, it's cool, but it's not something that I really needed to make Birdie feel more of like a presser or like or like a good like zone, you know, like great footsie base type character. The problem with this is that he still doesn't get like good Oki into going or for a can or whatever. He doesn't get good recovery to go into a can. That's the only thing I don't like about it. He's still like punishable if he tries to throw anything out after that, and he's he's full screen. I understand they make it a little if he's able to you know get out of the can freely and still be safe to block and move whatever like that I understand that could be a little bit much but it, it's not really that bad you know because it's literally a big yeah it's literally a big risk for birdie to throw out a can or a banana at any distance against certain characters it doesn't matter no matter how safe, how far you are, they're gonna hit, well, if it's max, max distance, like, it's pretty far. Like, they should make the recovery on this faster so I can throw down something. Even eating a donut, which is, you know, faster on recovery, still doesn't matter. I mean, you can only do a, yeah, quick rise on But, even throwing a donut, which is, has less, uh, recovery frames or whatever, still, you still get punished. I think it's like slightly less uh, recovery. You're still gonna get punished. 
So that's the thing. I understand they have to have a meter. If they don't have a meter, oh great, okay. It's still, you know. You could probably do a heavy, uh, yeah. Let me check. Just to make sure. She could probably do heavy. Let's see if medium. Uh, okay. Let's see if uh, medium reaches. Let's try heavy first. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna come out. I might do that uh, thing where it has to say wake up or whatever. This. Uh, I don't know why it does that. Like it has to say reversal or something. This. I don't understand that. Whatever. But yeah. Yeah, still get hit. Yeah, I'm still punishable. I know not every character can punish Birdie from that distance. I understand that. But it will make Birdie more of a consistently, like, it will make him more consistent. Like, oh, you know, he can recover really fast so he can get the can out, you know. Now he, he can impress you. Because most characters, anyways, have stuff to counter the can. You know, there's ways to play footies around the can to keep Birdie from getting in on you and I have to wait there and you're safe to block the can and everything's okay. There's ways around the can that don't make it seem that hard. Like the can's not really a a big deal as like than you think. So why why can't I recover fast enough to throw it on the can freely and have that there? So that, you know, Birdie feels more like a stronger character at least, or that he has something because most characters can still punish or go over it or like, you know, they go over and still be plus. Some characters can dodge it and be plus, so I understand why they don't have that recover faster in the first place. If they were to make that recover fast enough to like throw on a can or a banana, then Birdie would feel more like a, you know, a powerful like, character in the neutral and be able to like just control his spacing or whatever, a little bit more. But no, it's still it's still almost pointless. Like you get this, you know, and you basically have to wait there, you know, to see, you know, walk back a little bit to see what they're doing, and see if they're gonna go for something. You know what I mean? So and you have to hit it from a good distance. Ooh, that was active. Okay, I didn't expect that. I mean, you don't want to just stick out normal just in case, cause that's kind of risky. Cause if you miss time, you're gonna get hit by it anyway. So. Yeah. I mean, you can just wait there and then punish it. But yeah, you can wait there, you can sit there, but then that makes it a 50 50, anyways. Like, you know? So it's like kind of just. It's not. He's not consistently, like, gonna be on you. Like, other characters can. Like, there's a lot of characters that are consistently gonna be on your ass, no matter, like, what. So it's kind of just kind of annoying, yeah. But I understand he has a lot of damage, you know, stuff like that. He has a good amount of health. A decent amount of health. I think G got the same amount of health as Birdie now. G got a lot of buffs. He's, he's, he's got, but I'm not going to talk about G. But, yeah. Birdie, that's that's most of it. He did get a buff to his V-Trigger 2. It's a 2 bar now. So, I mean, that's cool. It's still doo-doo. It's still, you can't, the only safe way to cancel it is from EX uh, Headbutt. You still you can't combo it. You're still minus. You're still punishable after canceling that. There's no safe cancel into it. You're gonna be punishable. Hitbox on is not big where you could combo off of it. Only if someone neutral jumps on top of you, which is you know no. It's just not as good. I know there's something like they change like yeah! some weird stuff when you when you're in this like some weird like uh. Like cancels or whatever, I don't know. It's nothing too like like no matter what they do, it's not gonna make it's not gonna make this useful until it's like, you know, plus on cancel. If it was plus on cancel then I would actually wanna use this. Cause it's not bad, it's not a bad V trigger. Literally you get in hit. You can combo, you know, off of it. You get good damage off of it. And Oki. It's a good uh V trigger. But if I can't cancel it safely I, if I cancel from full screen, even with a can behind me, someone could still like come like you're in a headbutt, go for a shoulder tackle, and I'm hit. You know what I mean? Like, Cammy could do V skill, spiral, spiral, all that EX um combination, whatever it's called, into the drill. It's just not good. It's good when you can get it out, but you're basically taking a hit just to get it out. When you 
when you should be able to like cause it's good when you get someone you know to hit someone with it or whatever it's only time it's good it's not good when you use it and then you get on the floor you know taking some yeah. pressure it just doesn't make sense so that's why I just feel like it doesn't you know, there's no use for that V trigger it's cool but eh it's, it's kinda no use so yeah that's pretty much it for the my thoughts on the, the new patch notes you know I do like some of the yeah. new stuff that he got but at the same time it's not gonna make him feel that much different it's almost kinda still useless you know what I mean no, it's still gonna he's still gonna be almost the same type of character you're still gonna be doing the same thing as last season yeah so yeah he gets V trigger and then becomes like kind of like you know 50 50 if you guess right, birdie kills you. If you don't guess right, you be birdie. You know, Sim simple as that. That will depend on the character you play and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. So it it doesn't make the character. I wish it was a little more consistent than he is. I mean, I I like the bull slide thing. It does make it a little more consistent after his moves. But it's not enough to make him feel that much stronger or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching the video and just let me know what, how you feel about the new patch notes or whatever. And I know it's a lot of characters I got some weird stuff. Just let me know how you guys feel on that, you know, and yeah, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.